What's up, guys? So today I have a sick video for you. I'm gonna take a car, jump it over a pool, onto a moving train while on fire. And no, the train isn't on fire, the car isn't on fire, I'm on fire. So it's gonna be an amazing video. And none of that's happening because that's called clickbait. Although I, it would be really cool if someone actually did that. I'm not actually gonna do that because you know, I don't wanna risk my life for YouTube because why would I do that? Although it would get me a lot of views, so I mean. So today's video, I'm gonna cover something that I've covered in the past, a channel I personally love their videos. Not because their videos are really super interesting or like different, but because of just who they are. And that is a channel called My Story Animated. <laughs> And so let me give you a little backstory. So I was going through thinking of an idea and my story animated popped up in my suggested, which it always does because I've done two videos on them and now YouTube thinks, hey, would you, you must really love this channel. Even though I'm not subscribed to them. Here's a bunch of their stuff. So I usually just kind of skim right through, but I found a video that I just couldn't pass up because it's just so far-fetched. If you guys don't know what my story animated is, they make videos based on stories from people that they say are real, but let's come, let's be honest. They're not real and they animate them and that's the video so there was one video that stuck out to me which was their most recent upload which was something along the lines of i fell out of an airplane while on vacation and ended up stranded in the ocean something like that i say that because since yesterday when i found the video and i was making out the script they have now changed the video title i guess the first one wasn't clickbaity enough which is kind of what i want the whole this video to be about is clickbait they have changed it now to my mom left me to die in the middle of the ocean now to yourselves think about anyone actually leaving their child in the middle of the ocean to die you probably can't think of many people but i watched the video all the way through and except for the end when the mother comes in there's no there's no part where the mother actually pushes the daughter out of the plane i don't know where my story animated finds finds these stories, honestly. I've said it before, I think they just have like a team of writers. They get people from who write young teen novels, mystery novels, and those really romantic novels, and they just kind of throw a bunch of them into a room and say, just pump out 10 or 15 videos we can do for this week. And then they just go to animating them and get someone to narrate them. But before I get into it, if you guys want to follow me on any of my social media, that's my Instagram or my Twitter, those should be popping up on your screen. You can also find them down in the description below. I've also been getting messages from you guys saying that my videos aren't popping up in your subscription boxes, which is typical YouTube. So if you guys are subscribed to me, make sure you hit that little bell icon. That way you know it'll send you an alert and you will know for sure when I post. So let's jump in. I was having the best vacation of my life before. Okay, so right off the bat, you know when someone comes up to you and says, I was having the best vacation of my life. You know you're in for just a roller coaster of stuff. Also, can we, I just comment on like whoever animated this, why the top, why her thighs are skinnier than her calves. She needs to do some more squat. It looks like she just had like a meat stick for legs and they took a rope and just tied it around where her knees would be. Four, I ended up alone in the middle of the ocean. Now, you might wonder how the heck a person would end up lost in the middle of the ocean on a family vacation? Well, you can say that my luck isn't exactly typical. I would say your luck isn't typical because based on the title, your mom must really hate you if she's willing to leave you to die in the middle of the ocean. Just think about that. How many mothers do you know that are just going to leave their child to die in the middle of the ocean? And if you're trying to leave someone to die, leaving them in the middle of the ocean is probably one of the worst ideas because chances are they're going to survive because someone's going to find them and then you're going to go to jail. Before everything had escalated to this, I was planning a trip with both of my parents to the Caribbean islands. You see, my family is kind of rich, the kind that can afford to rent out a private jet when they go on vacations. You know, everyone just loves when people, you know, say, oh, my family's so rich, we can afford private plane to our private island. I have found with rich people that the more money they have, the weirder their little hobbies are. Like me personally, I would never jump out of an airplane. Some people think that's fun and interesting. I think that's dangerous. I didn't pack much. 
In fact, I didn't need much. For a second there, I thought she was crap herself. We all need to do that before vacation poop. Some clothes and my special parachute suit, which I always take with me on every vacation, if I ever feel like parachuting. You know, because we all just have that casual need to go parachuting. Jumping out of a plane, great idea. Honestly tell you guys that parachuting is the thing that gets me excited the most. The sensation flying in the air can't be compared to any other feeling in the world. Yes, the feeling of falling down, because you're not really flying. Flying is you're moving forward through the air. Parachuting is just falling, and then stopping yourself with a parachute. That's all it is. As I was getting ready to jump, I stood near the door of the jet waiting for my father as he was getting ready to join. So I took out my phone from my jacket pocket and took a picture. But that's when something happened that took me off guard. My phone slipped from my hand and I quickly leaned forward without thinking, hoping I would catch it. So you're about to jump out of a plane and you get your phone out to take a, you know, a picture or whatever, and you accidentally drop it out of the plane and think that you can simply just grab it, even though this plane is probably going more than 300 miles per hour through the air. Like, let's just assume she doesn't say, but let's assume she's like a true, like a professionally trained parachute person. But I feel like taking out your phone and messing with it right before you're about to jump near the exit of the plane is a big no-no. Probably assume that at that point, what I did was very stupid because it had caused me to lose my balance and trip off the jet. Well, yes, that's exactly what I said because that's exactly what it is. God, I couldn't believe this was actually happening to me at the moment. Everything was so quick. About 10 seconds later, the automatic parachute went off, which meant that something was wrong. It must have been the way I fell out of the jet, I thought. Man, rich people, I mean, when you have enough money to do that stuff, crap, you know you have a lot of money. People who don't have a lot of money never do this. Before I knew it, I had hit the ocean. I had to act fast to avoid drowning. I remembered the instructions that said if you land in the water, you must get your chest strap off to take the gear off quickly and swim beneath the parachute. I love the idea of her just like reading through like a manual or like a wiki how to parachute. It took me a while before I managed to focus on the way I was swimming. I was honestly scared to death that my feet would get tangled up in the parachute and drown me with it. At that moment, I started realizing that I was in much bigger trouble than I thought I was in. I can't even describe the feeling I had. I have never been more scared in my entire life. On one level, you kind of feel bad because you put yourself in, in, your li in her shoes and you're like, yeah, I would probably be shitting myself too. My body was tired. Swimming started to become exhausting. Oh, I think everyone has had those kind of worst case scenario thoughts, but never did I think of that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever had the thought of what happens if I jump out of a, excuse me, what happens if my mother pushes me out of a plane? I don't think those thoughts have ever run through my head, but I guess now that I've watched this, it's a good thing to maybe think about. I thought about all the best ways to retain my energy. My biggest problem was that my body felt like lead. I didn't want to push myself too hard and sink to the bottom. See, this is where it becomes so unbelievable, most also not helped by the dramatic music they're playing in the background, and the fact that the story has yet to do anything with the clickbaity title, which is how we know it's clickbaity because it's clear her mother did not push her out of that plane. I was in the middle of the ocean. What if a shark came up from the water and decided to eat me? Well, you'd be dead. Or you end up missing a couple legs and arms, but... Even while I was floating, there would have been a shark creeping along the bottom of the ocean just waiting for the right... Even if it wasn't a shark, what if a freak storm hit and washed me further away from where my parents were looking? Still, you'd probably be, be dead. I never felt so weak in my life. There was nothing I could control. If something went wrong all of the ways out here, I would end up dead and my parents wouldn't even know what happened to me. Well, that's not entirely true because, in, I mean, according to the title, your mom pushed you out of a plane and left you to die in the middle of the ocean, so your mom would know what would happen. I was out in the open with nothing to do but swim around, and I was hardly the fastest thing in the sea. There was no mistake in how vulnerable I was out there. So many thoughts that seemed to weigh me down more than my own tired body. They are really playing it hard with this background music. It sounds like a mixture of Enya whale calls. I started thinking about other things. I wanted to fill the time by thinking about anything that would take my mind off of the situation that I was in. Lying there, looking up at the sky, I started to play little games in my mind. Can anyone tell me how anyone just swims like that? 
just like leaning back and just kind of, this is swimming. I looked at the clouds and found images in them. And then I would remember times that would fit with the image. I saw slopes and remembered how my family went skiing the year before. Skiing down the mountains and feeling the cold on my face while surrounded by the thick snow. Thinking back on it now, you probably should have gone skiing. Of course, how do you guys get to the ski slope? What, do you jump out of a helicopter and then ski down while an avalanche is behind you to the ski resort? I think this is a good lesson to learn here is that perhaps we shouldn't take our vacation so extreme. My body was starting to ache all over. From hitting the water to swimming as hard as I could, I was pushing myself further than I ever had. The worst part was not knowing how much longer I would need to continue pushing. At that moment, I couldn't even panic. I was too tired to do anything else but float. Trying to do anything else would take too Now, I'm not the most, when it comes to emergency situations, the most prepared, I guess. But everyone knows the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And you know where you're going, so wouldn't it be smart to follow that? The sun's setting that way, you know that way's east. And if your island or wherever you're going is east, then you need to swim that way. When the sun had completely faded in the sky and the stars started to show, my body started to falter. I could feel myself dipping underwater and tried focusing all of my attention on staying afloat just a little longer. It is a wonder that nothing has like messed with her. Like no sharks have just come and like taken a leg or something. Like in all the movies about people being stranded in water, there's always at least some shark coming to at least like aggravate the people at sea. I opened my eyes again and looked up at the stars. One stood out above all the rest. It was brightly reflected on the water, but when I looked up, I didn't see it. When the light got brighter and brighter, I realized that it wasn't a star, but a boat. I was brought to the local hospital and waited for my parents to arrive. They fussed over me for quite some time, trying to make sure that I didn't have any cuts and bruises. Your mom is probably fussing over you because that was the whole point of me pushing you out of the plane and leaving you in the middle of the ocean to die. When my parents burst into the room, I could see the worry on their faces. My dad immediately went to asking questions, trying to find out if there was anything wrong with me. My mom came to my bed and held me tight in her arms. I hugged her back, so happy to be near her again. Probably not things you should say about the woman who uh, left you to die in the middle of the ocean. When she finally let go, I could see that her eyes were red and puffy. My dad came over to me next and apologized for not getting there sooner and told me how he hired every available boat to search for me. I shook my head and gave him a hug too. Or someone may, one of your beloved family members pushes you out of a plane again to die in the ocean. You never hear of anyone having no incidents when skydiving, even if it's something small. Who wants to jump out of a plane? I will never jump out of a plane unless I hit 2 million subscribers, then I will never jump out of a plane. But unless I do hit 2 million subscribers, then I will. But I will never do it unless it's only 2 million. So the moral of that story for me is, um, don't go skydiving, uh, don't trust anyone who's with you going skydiving, and then again, just don't go skydiving, or parachuting, or whatever. Let me know what you guys think in the description. Do you honestly think this is real? Because I don't think this is a real story. Again, I think this is just a group of people that get together and make these things up and put them out there, and then they write whatever clickbaity title they can get, which, listen, YouTube 2019, you need to do whatever you can to get those views, because it is killer out there so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and if you want to check out more hit that subscribe button and again hit that bell notification so you're alerted when i post a new video if you guys want to follow me on any of my social media that's all in the description below as well and i will see you guys next week with a brand new video